Hello little kiddos, hope you are doing well. It's story time. The story we are listening is The Dragon Who Couldn't Breathe Fire. As you all know that dragons are famous because they spit fire. So let's begin with the story. Everyone knows that dragon breathe fire. The little green dragon in this story knows it too. But no matter how hard he tries, he just can't breathe out any fire, not even a puff of smoke. This makes the little dragon so unhappy that he decides to run away from home. He set out into the woods, looking for someone who teach him how to breathe fire. The little dragon walks until night falls and it gets dark. Now what shall I do? He asks himself. I am tired and hungry and I can't walk any more. Nearby a wise old owl is sitting quietly on the branch of a tree. Try the house over there, he hoots, pointing in the direction of a tall house. In the house lives a witch and her three gay cats. Who's knocking on my door at this time of night? She asks sleepily, yawning as she and the cats look out of the window. Sorry to disturb you, says the dragon, but I have come a long way and I am very tired. May I stay here for the night? The witch is a very kind and friendly witch. She makes the little dragon comfortable and gives him some hot soup and biscuits. Her cats bring him a hot water bottle. Why are you here? All by yourself? The witch asks him. The dragon explains that he is looking for someone who can teach him to breathe fire. That's no problem, says the witch. My magic will have you breathing fire in on time. We will start first thing in the morning. Next morning, the witch puts on her pointed hat and takes out her book of magic spells. Let me see, she mutters to herself. Breathing fire. Hmm. The spiders watch as she mixes the ingredients together in the next room. The little dragon waits patiently. He is full of excitement at the thought of soon being able to breathe fire. The spell is ready, announces the witch. All you have to do is drink this magic potion. The little dragon closes his eyes and swallows the potion. He thinks about fire. The witch, the cat, the spider and the frog in a jar all watch him carefully. They wait for something to happen. Hey, I feel warm all over, he says, getting excited. Now breathe out, says the witch. Oh dear, something is coming out of the dragon's mouth, but it isn't fire. He's breathing out hundreds of pretty butterflies. Whoops, says the witch. I must have used the wrong ingredients. Let's try again. I'll get it right this time, the witch assures them. The butterflies flutter around and the cat chases after them. Finally, the second magic potion is ready to drink. One of the cats pour it into the dragon's open mouth. The little dragon gets ready to breathe fire. Surprise! This time, the little dragon beats out lots and lots of colorful swimming fish. The cats are delighted. They jump around catching the fish. Oh no, says the witch, feeling embarrassed. What's going wrong? I'll try again. The witch prepares another magic potion. This time it can't go wrong, says the witch. And she holds out the third potion to the little dragon. The cats watch excitedly. They are hoping for more fish. The dragon is hoping for fire. The witch is hoping the spell will work. Oh dear! This time the dragon breathes out lots of beautiful flowers. They smell nice too. The witch claps her hand. What lovely flowers! She says cheerfully. 
Aren't we clever? Flowers are much ni- much nicer than fire. The dragon thinks about it for a while. It's fun to breathe out flowers n- instead of fire. Being like other dragons doesn't seem important any more. Then the witch has an idea. Why don't we open a flower stall? She suggests. You can breathe out the flowers and I will make beautiful bunches for sale. Soon the flower stall is ready for business. The cats have come to help sell the flowers. Come and buy our wonderful flowers. They all call out. The flower stall is a huge success. People come from far and wide to buy the colorful, sweet-smelling flowers. The little dragon's father and mother hear about the famous flower stall and the flower-breathing dragon, and they come to see for themselves. Everyone loves your flowers, they tell him. It doesn't matter whether you breathe fire, fish or flowers. We still love you. Why don't you come home again with us? The little dragon goes home with his parents, where he opens another flower stall. He is happy knowing that he doesn't have to be the same as other dragons. He is he is special just the way he is. So what have you learned in this story that every one of us is a different individual and this makes us all special in our own way. We should learn to accept ourselves as we are and not worry being different from others. I uh, hope you have enjoyed the story and uh, do like, share and subscribe to Hannah and Sam show.